Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome. My name is Wendy Porter and I am the lap tray crafter and I'm an independent stamping up de demonstrator here in North Devon. And a quick weather forecast. It is beautiful today. We've got blue sky and fluffy clouds here and it is just beautiful. I can see for miles up in my craft room. Do say hello when you come on. Be lovely to know that you're that you're here and you're watching me. And as I said in my announcement, I think and I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I think I've done the right thing with Facebook Live at last. Oh, somebody's with me sending up a thumbs up. It would be nice to know if you can hear me and that you can see. Oh, hello, Linda. Welcome. Yay. I'm going to wave to you, Linda. Get a little sign that says waved. Very warm welcome. You're not out walking today. I hope the thumbs are up are because you can hear me and you can see me. Well, hello, Debbie from Australia. Gosh, what's the time in Australia? Oh, hello, Val. You didn't go to. You didn't go to Tavistock. Oh, well, perhaps another day. Good, you can hear and see. Okay, that's fab. And Hazel's with us. Yay! Oh, good, I'm not talking to myself. How lovely is that? Well, you're all very, very welcome. And Jeanette, oh, I feel very blessed today. Went out early before, before it got too hot. Yes, it looks like it might be quite warm out there. Very sensible, Linda to do your walking before the midday sun and it's nine o'clock in the evening Debbie oh wow gosh so you're um, seven hours ahead of us well I you're very welcome Debbie and thank you very much for joining us so I think I'm gonna get started now today I am going to play with Da -da. The colour and contour stamp set. You're just watching, are you, Hazel? You're not crafting today. Well, you. I uh, hopefully you'll get some inspiration from this. So I'm going to use this stamp set, and this comes as part of a bundle. All right, and the dies are lovely. They've got these lovely scalloped edge dies, and there are two flowers. One that cuts out this one. And this one that cuts out here, plus this. I'm really pleased to see this. It's nice and big and it, you know it will fit my big cards. So, now I did try stamping and die cutting these out and they work beautifully. But you know me, I do like to do a bit of fussy cutting. So I did some fussy cutting. Yay! And I don't think they're that dissimilar to what the, the die would have done. So let's get going. Now, I warn you girls, I am using my favourite colour today. And you won't need to guess very hard what that is. Ta da We're going to be using Highland Heather, Fresh Fuchsia. Perhaps might use a bit of Gorgeous Grape. We will see. So... This is one of my usual size cards. Um, so this measures five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. And for Debbie, um, what how you make this is a piece of A4 card, chop it at five and seven eighths, and then fold it in half. And that's how I get my square cards. And I've already put a piece of basic white through my uh, stamping cut and emboss or also known as Stacy through the lovely brick um, embossing folder and I've got another piece here a plain piece this measures I think this is four and a half by four and a half 
oh no this is five and this is five and a half i think all right so we're going to do start with some stamping i thought we ought to so now somewhere i have got oh there is because these stamps are photopolymer all right and i've already got them on blocks look so i've done a bit of prep um I'm going to use Highland Heather. No, I'm going to use soft succulent to stamp my flowers. Yay, good Val. I think it's a lovely set. I don't know what sort of flowers they are, but they're very pretty. Very pretty. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some stamping in the corners. And you know that's my one of my favourite things to do. So let's start in this corner over here. Yay! I think it's a lovely set. So I'm just going to pop that there. And then I'm going to pop another one in the top corner. like so then I'm going to clean my stamp I'm still trying to keep up the regime of cleaning after every time sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so then I'm going to bring in the the daisy type one and I'm just literally going to a little bit here a little bit here and a little bit there Debbie are you a stamping up demonstrator or have you just found me on YouTube okay now this stamp set has two stamps that you can use to fill in your flowers and i forgot to get this one off my here it is this one has got three three um blobs if you like three blobs all on one which is great so i'm going to bring in some highland heather now can you see me okay or do i need to just move my camera a teeny bit there we go right what do you think of the picture girls do you think it's a better picture than than i've had recently it looks good to me so there we go that's on a block and we've also got a fill in for the daisy part all right so i'm going to use that okay so let's use now before i put some ink on it i just want to yeah so that's going to go on there and it's not meant to fill it completely it's meant to just give it a um oh well done debbie you're a happy shopper then that's the best reason to join to get discount i must admit that's why i joined over five years ago mm, and i got the camera in the way and i'm trying not to hit the camera with my head uh, here we go So now I'm going to bring in this daisy and I'm going to use the same colour again 
Now, shall I stamp it off? Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. I'd noticed that before, but there's a kind of a two-tone effect to the stamp. So I don't think I'm even going to stamp it off. I'm going to use it. Yeah, that's it. We all joined for the same reason, didn't we? <laughs> now, Linda is celebrating a big anniversary. She was but the first lady to join with me, weren't you, Linda? Five years ago, yesterday. So Linda's just celebrated five years. Now I'm going to try and find where this bit goes. So there's two bits that are joined together there. So I think that's about there. Like so. There we go. Lovely. Now. now, am I going to leave it like that or am I going to put any more on? Let's bring in me, me base card. Oh, it came today. Excellent. Great. Oh, I am pleased. You've probably got quite a few of those reward vouchers now, Linda. Um, they were very quick because I posted them. Oh, I think I posted them um, about six o'clock the evening before. I missed the post, of course. Um, I think we're going to not put anything else on that. Right, I'm going to just do my sentiment. So what I've got here is I've got the double oval punch, one of my favourite, favourite punches. And I am going to stamp, I think I'm just going to stamp hello on it. Hello, like so. Whoops. I'm sure that Debbie knows most of the ladies that are on today are from my team and I'm very, very happy that they're with me. And my team are called the Crafty Piglets because I love pigs. Now I need some Highland Heather card. I didn't break get it out, so let me just get some out. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to punch the scallop piece out of Highland Head. Okay. And that's going to go on there. Mm -hmm. now let's... Oh, well, yes. Spend them, Linda. It's going to go on there like so. And then I'm just going to pop this on here. And now I'm going to use some of the ribbon. Now this is the Fresh Fuchsia ribbon. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something that I do quite often which is I'm going to put a bit of tape on the edges and then I'm going to am I gonna shall I uh, 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 oh a bit too much there put a bit more tape on and I'm just gonna have that sticking out like so Bring in my snips. Oh. oh, I thought my snips had disappeared then. The Dazzling Demos. Oh, that's a cool name. Oh, 
right so that's going to go on there right just like that so let's put this together get me ink out of the way because you know me girls i'll stick my finger straight in it so let's bring in some liquid glue Oh, I think I need a new. I think I need a new liquid glue. It's getting a bit. A bit oh, oh. We might, might get away with it, but we'll see. I've got lots of part used ones because, of course, when I'm running my classes, after a couple of classes, I like to renew the liquid glue, and. Um, and give them all new ones to start with. Do you do that, Linda? Do you give them give them new ones each time, or do you get them to bring their own? That's going to go on there like that. So. My usual favourite colour goes white. <laughs> yeah, that's going to go on there. I'm going to put some dimensionals on. If you've not been with me before, Debbie, um, my colour of choice for cards is either basic white as my background or very vanilla. Don't use very vanilla that often because I'm a huge fan of white, are my girls? Right, pop that on there. Where am I going to put that? Put that there, I think. Now I can bring in my scissors again. Let me just put the lid on my glue. Yeah. But it's better, I think, if they don't end up having to shake them too much. Because otherwise they end up with big blobs everywhere, don't they? But we can always use them, Linda. We're always making cards, aren't we? There we go. So, bling. Now I'm going to use some of these lovely... Um, if I could remember what these were called, I would tell you. Let me get the catalogue out. What are they called? These, these lovely purple gems. But I can't remember. Oh, where's my catalogue? Oh, no. Where's the catalogue gone? Okay. Let's have a look and see what these. Oh, you're the same, are you, Debbie? You run classes, good. We're um, at the moment we're in on our way out of lockdown, and we've got a limit of how many people can come along. We're only allowed six people to meet together. Yeah, you see, Hazel, you've caught that from me. <laughs> Right, these are called, they are called number two, they're on page 143 and they're called Pastel Pearls. And I think we had them in the last catalogue, didn't we? They came with the um, the Hydrangea set. But of course I'm going bound to use those, aren't I? Okay. Right, so let's have a few of these. I can... Yeah, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. There we go. First card done, girls. That wasn't too bad, was it? Yay, good. There we go. So let's set that aside and we're going to bring in the next one. Now, oh look, right, okay. Now this one, I've also done the, put it through the brick, I don't think, what, is it called bricks and mortar, I think. And this is one of the die cut shapes that comes with the dies that accompany the stamp. Then what I did was I just stamped the flower on basic white and I, I think I fussy cut this one out, look, and I don't reckon that's a bad lot of fussy cutting. I think it's pretty good. 
so my plan is to put that on there so let's do a little bit of colouring now I'm going to use blends I've not used my blends for ages so I'm going to bring in Highland Heather light Highland Heather yep light Highland Heather and I'm going to I'll get that out of the way You can't see the other comments. Oh, can everybody see the other comments or is it just Val who can't see them? Oh, that's very strange, Val. Have you tried hit, uh, just running your finger from the right hand side to the left hand side of your screen now you all know that I'm hopeless at colouring I just do a bit of squiggling can't call it we have been lucky you can't either you can see the comments Debbie Jeanette can't see them Oh, you have no COVID. Oh, wow, that's excellent. Oh. Oh, well, we've, we've been in lockdown for, I don't know, I can't remember how long it's been so long. And we've um, been in and out. This time we are hoping, we're on, the, on a roadmap out of lockdown. And it was supposed to be lifted on the 21st of June but because we've got this new Delta variant floating about it doesn't look like it's going to happen I was reading the papers this morning and it mm, don't look like it goes oh hello now the video just stopped can you still see? You can see all the comments, Hazel. Yeah. I've lost count of how many times we've been in a, a lockdown, to be honest. There we go. Is it th really three, Linda? <laughs> right, I'm just having a little, a little fiddle here. Okay, that's it. Shall I put a bit of green on the leaves? Let's bring in some soft succulent, shall I? There's my flower, duly coloured in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm literally, I'm going to stick this on the base of my card. Uh -huh. Let me put that on. I'm going to change my glue. All right. It's 15 months, is it, Val? There we go, you see. Have you had vaccinations over there, Debbie? I mean, we've been very, very lucky over here. I think uh, I think we're over fifty percent of the population of adults have had jabs, and all of us on here we've all had two jabs. So that means we're fully inoculated, hopefully. Now I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to wrap some ribbon round it because I can. Now don't laugh girls, I'm going to try and tie a bow. Shall I tie a, try and tie a bow or shall I just do it flat? No, I won't. Because you know what I'm like with tying bows. There's 
Oopless. Now, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a bit of. Um, there we go. Put a bit of. Put a bit on there. And a bit on there. Did you try and whisk your finger from back to from side to side Val so that you can see the other comments who else couldn't see them Jeanette did you try it Jeanette and so you can see the comments if not I'll um I'll have to read them out right okay so that's going to go on there and I'm going to use some dimensionals Ooh. on dimensionals and I'm going to use the sides because why not so I'll just snip these up oh well I had AstraZeneca and it was fine it was fine obviously side effects to you've tried all sorts of you Jeanette okay well I'll providing I look up often enough I'll try and read the comments out it didn't work Val okay well don't worry I'll I'll try and read out the comments okay now that's very strange you can normally see my comments I know because you did mystery stamping with me on Wednesday and you could see the comments then, couldn't you? Oh no, there was only you and me on, so perhaps that was... Perhaps there weren't any other comments for you to read, but never mind. We won't fret about it. And as usual, I've put an abundance of dimensionals on. Because I do like dimensionals, as you all know. I say I like to have plenty of support. Okay, so this is going to go on here, when I can pull these bits off. So this is going to go on here. Let's make sure I've got the fold on the right side. Not the right, not the right side, but the left side. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Right, so that's going on there. Good. And it would be lovely if you could share today, because I'm feeling a bit more confident today. Right, this is going to go on here. Am I going? And I'm just going to put glue on here. Glue. Okay, uh, and that's just going to go in the middle there, like so. Okay, good. Oh, good. You've got a date for it now, Hazel. That's excellent. Well, I was due to have an order yesterday, um, but um, I looked this morning, no, yesterday morning, I mean, and it got put back and it's now coming on Monday. So, but that's okay. I had some, I had plenty to play with, didn't I? So, shall I, do you think it needs a bow? Hmm. Let's do a bow. And I do my, my bows bunny ears fashion and if I 
don't use it. I'm bound to make a bow for something, want a bow for something. So let's have a look and see what we think. You had the tracking email this morning, did you? Well done. <laughs> Val says, I am the dimensional queen. <laughs> true, true, absolutely true. Oh, I think that looks pretty. I'm going to pop that on there. I'd much rather be known as the dimensional queen. I could be I could be known as lots lots worse than that, couldn't I? Right, where's the glue dots? Glue dots. Here we go. Pull that off of there. And I'm just gonna pop that on there. Excellent. Ta da da da. Now what colour shall I use this time? Oh, well, look, my putty's gone a bit flat. Let's put some new on. Okay. I am just going to... Where am I going to put these? I'm going to put one, two, three. One's a bit wonky. One, three. There we go. Three in a row. Okay. Here's another card done. Excellent. Right. Now. I, your back order was due yesterday, coming Monday. Oh, blimey, Val, that was the one that was stuck. And then you've got another one on Wednesday. Oh, you're going to have fun next week then, aren't you? Because you're going to have two big brown boxes to undo. Lovely. Right, now. I have now got a piece of basic white. And this is fresh... Freesia. Do you know, I want to keep calling it Fresh Fuchsia. Thank you, Val. Lovely. Good. I'm glad you like them. Excellent. I, as I say, I want to call this pale pink Fresh Fuchsia. And it's not. It's Fresh Freesia. So if I say Fuchsia, just ignore me because it's Freesia. All right. <laughs> and what I am going to do, girls, is I'm going to do bring in the Stamparatus. I've not used my Stamparatus for ages, ages. So, here we go. So what I have got on here is I've got this little template that has got all the sizes of square, square um, mats that I could use on my cards, all right? And what I'm going to do, so this is a five by five. And I saw somebody on Pinterest make a lovely card using this little bud here. So I am going to have a go at trying to recreate it. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work, but we will see. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the middle of my card. So that, oh, gosh. And I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to line this up here, like that. Yes. I just did it on my computer, Debbie. It's ever so easy to do. Well, was for me anyway. Um, and all the lead, the girls that are with me, that they've all been on my stamp or artist class, and they got one. Mind you girls, I have updated it with a couple of extra sizes. So if you want me to um, to do you an, an updated one with the extra sizes, just give me a shout and I'll print some off for you and I'll send them to you. Right, so 
this is going to be my bud now what color am I going to use hmm. so I've got a piece of fresh fuchsia so I'm going to use fresh fuchsia for my bud no I'm not I'm going to use soft succulent and then I'm going to fill it in okay Hazel right hang on let me make a note uh, where's a pen I need a pen find a pen right so I'm going to grab a piece of card Hazel wants a Stamparatus template Okay, Linda wants one too. Hazel. Have I missed anybody? Okay. Okay. Right. So, here we go. So that's going to go there. Have you got a stamper artist, um, Debbie? always best to put a so you'd like one as well Val okay I'll bring I'll bring them with me next time I see you Val because we are meeting at the Puffing Billy on the 22nd and I do apologize I only saw your um your text message this morning I don't know what goes on with my phone, I'm sure. But it takes ages for text messages to come through. Here we go. So turn it round. And because it's the same colour, I'm not even bothering to, to clean it. Good. That's nice to hear, Debbie. We actually used the Stamparatus at one of my classes recently. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go on the diagonal. And I'm leaving it where it is. I'm not touching it. Panya Pantry on Saturday. That, ah, yes, that's the first one, isn't it? Val, the Panya Pantry. Yeah. Gosh, it's been so long since I've been to the Panya Pantry. And those of you that come along, you'll never guess what I'm going to have for my lunch. And I just keep turning it round, leaving my stamp in place. Right. The Panya Pantry is one of the cafes, Debbie, that where I do my do my classes. My classes are called Stamp and Sip. Because that's what we do. We stamp, we have we have coffee, and tea. Hey, look at that. Oh that's nice, isn't it? That's nice on its own. Cool. Right now I'm gonna clean that now. Hoppity pie! Yay, that's it. Hoppity pie. It's either that or it'll be brie and cranberry on brown. <laughs> but I would like a homity pie. I've not had one for ages. Right, now what I need to do is I need to move my stamp. Now what I want to do is I want it to go in between. So I'm just going to pop that there. Ooh. Oh, blimey, look what I've done there. Got a bit of ink. Yes, I hope so too. We'll colour cover that up in a minute. That was a bit wet from my... Um, uh, I'm going to put that in exactly the same place and hopefully disguise that happy there. Okay. okay. 
so we're on the diagonal so keep on the diagonals at the moment yeah it does doesn't it really clever so Debbie's saying it looks like a a daisy centre in created our own little flower haven't we I'm just going round so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the square bit and we're going to do exactly the same and I'm not worrying about the the messy ink on my Stamparatus, because that won't hopefully won't get onto my mats. Great. Hazel says it looks lovely. It does look lovely. Really nice, isn't it? Very pretty. Very pretty. There we go. Now, I'm just uh, whilst I'm just going to clean my um, my plates. While I decide whether I'm going to put another layer in or not, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to keep that as it is. So, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off of here and I'm now going to bring in the fill-in piece for the bud and I'm going to do this manually. I could have used my Stamparatus to do it but I thought nah I can easily do that on my own. So I'm going to bring in the little blob. Can you see there's the blob look? Or I could even colour them. Nah let's use the little stamp. Oh good. I do like it when I'm I'm tempting you. <laughs> Debbie says for those that can't see it, she said this wasn't on a, on my wish list, but it is now. <laughs> we all do that, you know, Debbie. We all see things that are, we say when we see the catalogue, oh no, I'm not gonna bother with that. And then we see somebody else using it and it suddenly becomes desperate that we have it. Have you got this one, Linda? Val? Val? No, Val says it's on a wish list. Right, so. Now it looks to me like there's a kind of a little, a little sort of a pointy end. So I think the pointy end, let's just try it. Yeah, I think the pointy end goes downwards, so. And I'm not worrying if I'm a if I'm not exact. It, it's not meant to be um, a, the filling piece. is not meant to be the one that sort of does it exactly. So I'm just going to go on there. Yay! Clever. Done. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. That's the nice thing about the annual catalogue. You can have a wish list and it can last for a very long time i must confess my wish list is still quite long i've still got quite a few bits i want right so this is going to go on here 
and I've got now I think I could do with a circle or something in the middle there now I've got some pre die cut shapes now where's that gone I'm looking for a little box that's got some pre die cut bits in it and I did have it This is an, oh, here's the, no, that's not the one I'm looking for. Where's that gone? Oh, here it is. Duh. Right, I tend to keep white bits in one of these little boxes and the coloured bits in another, but saying that. So, let's see. Oh, what about that? No, too big. We want a tiny, we want quite a small circle, I think. No, that's too big. Hmm. No, too big. Oh dear. Hmm. I perhaps should have left a bit more space. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to bother. I am just, I think, going to a bow in the centre there. Let's tie another bow. And put the sentiment somewhere else. Or not put one at all. Yeah, Hazel said she's working through a wish list here. Yeah. And of course, this month, we're going to get another catalogue. We're going to see the next catalogue. So we will have another wish list. How about that? Just going in the centre there. Oh, I think that's lovely. Very simple, don't you think, girls? Right. So let's put this together. OK. Bring in my glue. This is just the small flower punch. Oh, Linda, you're a clever one, which I just happen to have here. Let's just try it and see. So have I got some a fresh fuchsia card? Mm -hmm. See, I called it fuchsia, but you didn't hear that, did you? You, called, you heard freesia, didn't you? Right. Let's see. Right, so I've got my little flower punch here. Ooh. Pop that there. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Oh, you're a clever Linda. Linda that was Linda's suggestion that I use the flower punch. And then I'm going to put that on there. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Right, let's put this card together, shall we? Now, uh, 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 uh. I think I'm going to put this card through an embossing folder. What have I got handy? I'm going to use the Bark 3D embossing folder. So I've got Stacy sitting on my trolley behind me. So just talk amongst yourselves while I emboss it. And just in case you want a tip, um, what I do is when I get a new embossing folder, I write, do a sticky label, what it's called, and I say which plates I need to use for that embossing folder. All right, so for this one, I need one and four. So plate number one and four is the, is the grey embossing one. Okay, 
so that's going to go on there. Glue that. It, yes, it does look good. Oh, now which way around am I going to do that? I think I might put it down. That side's going to go down. So I'm making sure I've got a goodly amount of glue on because it's got lots of little places where it can go into. And let's pop that on there. Like so. And that's going to go on there. Lid on my glue. going on there. And then I'm going to put my little flower that Linda suggested on a dimensional. Um, I'm just looking to see if I've got any big dimensionals. I'm sure I have. strange I've got lots of little ones in my box let me get a new packet of dimensionals out yay I do like it when I open a new pack of something <laughs> there we go and I can only fit one on here right going on there and I'm going to pop that in the centre there like so that looks lovely 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 then my bow is going to go on the top of that like so now I just trim the, the ends just a just a little bit. Okay, now decision time. Do I put a sentiment on? Do I not put a sentiment on? I think it needs a sentiment. Let me just... Um, I was going to put it, I would probably put it here. Let's just punch a scallop shape and then we can decide whether I'm going to put one on or not. What do you think? Oh, I could put that over there because that's some. Um, that's where I put my got me watery bit. I could put it there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that there. So, and I'm going to thank you, Lint Hazel. So Hazel likes the look of the card. Excellent. Now, I'm hoping that I can get best wishes on this oval shape. We will try. Mm -mm. Now this sentiment is from the artistic ink. Right. Um, artist arti artistically inked. Um, stamp set 
and I love these sentiments. I think they are beautiful. I love, you know, I love this when the fonts, when the, the sentiments are big. You, well, you all know that. I do, don't I? Thank you, Val. Another nice card. I don't know whether you disappeared for a moment then. The system kind of went through a wobbly, but it came back again. So not worrying about it. As long as it comes back again and I don't end up having to stop it and start in it again, then that's good. OK, and that's going to go on there. Guess it's my new pack of dimensionals. I could take shares out in the company that makes dimensionals, couldn't I? <laughs> I think I'll probably keep them in business. There we go. Oops. Oh, look, they're getting stuck to my fingers now. All right, so that's going to go there. Cool. We want some bling. Can't make a cut. Oh, I don't want that. Where's my purple bling gone? Oh, there it is. What am I going to use this time? Hmm. Hmm. So, how about if I put this? in the centre here just to create a little and of course I, I think I probably could have got another layer in but well, you know me girls I do like to leave a lot of white space what about that that is lovely and I don't know who it was who did it first but they were very, very clever. And I'm very glad that they inspired me to do it, because that is beautiful. Even though I say so myself. Gorgeous. Very nice indeed. Right, so that's the third card. Right. Oh, you said yes to the sentiment, Linda. Good, I'm glad you like it. Good. I. There's sometimes, though, you know, when you, you can't decide whether you're going to put sentiment on or not. Right, I've got another another bit. Right, now. I'm going to use the Stamper Artist again. So just bear with me. You've been pausing in and out, but not in... Ah, uh, yeah, it has been, uh, as you say, pausing a bit and then starting again. But um, it's better than it has been. Uh, I've lost my stamp set lovely linda Re linda says really pretty so that's great now so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a kind of a wreath card again but this time i'm going to use the daisy outline right so let's see that's gonna sit on there And this is, again, going to be an, a really simple card. So what I want is just trying to figure out where the centre of my card is. And I'm going to come up a bit because my plan is that I've got a shape here that I'm going to use for my sentiment. Whether we do or not, we will see. But that's where oh, the we will say your stamps upside down, Wendy. Right, okay, so that's going out on there. Okay. Right. So I'm going to stamp in... Oh, I'm going to use soft succulent again. I do love soft succulent. It is so lovely. In fact, I love all of these new colours. Yay, Catherine has joined us. Excellent. I'm waving to you, Catherine. You're a bit late, but you're very welcome. 
I am using this lovely, lovely stamp set. Never apologise, Catherine, because you can always watch it on replay. <coughs> so you're never late. All right. And I'm playing with the Stamper Artist today. Done a couple of, I've done one card already with the Stamper Artist. And I'll show, show it at the end when I show all of them. All right. So here we go. Right, Damparatus, and this is the daisy here. Look, da da, nice. And I'm just going to keep it on the straight. Do with a bit more ink on it let's uh, just try and see if not there's always the emergency side yeah. okay cool There you go. Now let me just clean my. I'm going to bring a tissue in and clean the ink off that and clean my stamp. I don't think I, I wrung out me, me chamois enough. Okay, right, now I need a leaf. So in here, I have got a leaf. It looks like I've lost somebody. So I'm going to remove that back to its place on a block. And we've got this really funny leaf. Can you see this leaf here? There is no filling bit for it. Mind you, you could use that to fill it in, I think. So I'm going to use this. And I hope you're all still with me. If you can send up a heart, if you are, so I know I'm not talking to myself. Now, where am I going to put this? Da -da -da. There. Now I don't, I don't know. I'm going to pop that there. Right, okay, let's go in there. And I'm going to do all oh, some hearts coming up. Hey, hey, excellent. Somebody's still there. The trouble is, when um. When they, you, the hearts go up, you don't know who sent them. <laughs> You're still there. Oh, good. Linda's still here. Yay. Right, so this is going to go here. Just to fill in a little bit of space. And I think it's it's quite um when you're using the stamparatus and you're doing something like a wreath, you really have no idea how it's gonna end up, what it's gonna look like. Which is half the fun of it really. Oh Debbie's still here, Hazel's still here, Val's still here. I don't know if Catherine's still here. And Jeanette. Definitely lost somebody because the numbers have gone down. So hopefully they'll come back at any rate. Uh, what do I need to do? I need to do that one. Yeah, that one. There we go. All 
Right. Now, I am going to add some colour and I'm going to do it manually, so to speak, without doing it on my Stamparatus. Or shall I use my Stamparatus? No, I'll do it manually. Oh, no, I'm going to do it with my Stamparatus just to see if I can. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the fill-in, the fill-in one. And this is a funny fill-in shape, you know, because um, it's definitely got a right, um, oh, I've got a bit, I don't know what I've got on there. <laughs> Looks like I've got a biscuit crumb on mine. Well, that's no good, is it? Let's get rid of that. Oh, let's see if I can poke it through the hole. <laughs> Okay, right. Now, with this shape, can you see there's two bits that are caught, sort of joined together? And I'm going to put those sort of there. Yeah, that looks okay. So I'm going to turn my plate over because that's the blessing of our Stamparatus. Up on there. Now I'm going to ink it. Did I decide on a colour? So I've got me soft succulent for me background. Let's do Island Heather. Good. Right. Oh, it's back up again. So good. I think you're all back again. So. Oh, I'm going to move that off of there because that's going to annoy me. It's going to keep sticking to the... Uh -huh. Keep twisting it round. Bit of Highland Heather. Oh! <gasps> did you see what I did, girls? I've got two ink pads open and I've very nearly, very nearly put a flower in soft succulent on my, my wreath. <laughs> Val says the secret is out. You're a secret biscuit nibbler. Well, you'll be surprised what I nibble in my craft room, honestly, Val. <laughs> Now, right, Highland Heather this time. Let's go. I don't keep a stash of biscuits up here. I must confess. I'll keep them downstairs and bring them up if I want one. Because if I did, I'd be... I'd be the size of a house if they were a secret stash up here. Because I would be continually nibbling... I do like Linda's idea of the um, the little flower punch. Or is it still in the? Is it still? Is it still in the um, annual catalogue? Anybody tell me? Is it in the annual catalogue? Not that it really matters. Let me have a look in the catalogue and see if it's still there. No, it's not in the it's not in the new, in the annual catalogue. That's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? But I tell you what, we have got we've got a little one in the strawberry punch. Now, where's my strawberry punch? Because I don't think I've even got it out of the packet yet. I have a look. Mm. Oh, I could use that one. 
Oh, we've got a one. We've got that one. But I don't want. I want. I'm looking at something for the centre of my flower, right? So I don't want anything too big. So the centre, the uh, little flower that's on the strawberry punch. Oh, which look, I've not even used yet because I'm just unwrapping it. Keep fit for you. <laughs> yes, absolutely, Linda. How did it go on Wednesday, the first um, Flex and Fun? How did it go? I hope she wasn't too hard on you. Now, I have got here some of the lovely... Yeah, the small blue pu bloom punch. I couldn't find it in the catalogue. So I've got some of this lovely... Um, vellum, all right. I think they're calling it speciality vellum, or, or let me have a look, see what it's called, so I get the name right. It's called da da da. It's called number six. It's called in colour shimmer vellum. That's what it's called. So obviously it comes in some of the colours that are in the in colours. So I'm just going to try. Oh. Hmm. What do you think? Or oh, do you think I could do it with a different colour? Where's me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like it with that colour. I think it needs, and I think it probably needs to be a bit darker. So I'm going to bring in pale papaya. Let's see what it's like in pale papaya. Ooh. Oh, yes. I'll save that. I won't waste it. What do you reckon? Pale papaya. Oh, 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 do we want fresh freezer? Let's see. Shimmer. It was good, was it? I was, um, I had a class. What was I doing on Wednesday? Oh, I did mystery stamping on Wednesday. Um, so I didn't come along, but my intention is to come along. What do you think? Pale papaya or fresh freesia? Hmm. Pale papaya, Linda says. Val says the shimmer. Oh, right, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll put the two of them. No, don't want the two of them on there. I think I think I prefer the card version. So I'm going to put pale papaya on there. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. So I need one, two, three, four. Oh, that was a good number, Linda. Oh, excellent. It is my intention to come. Honest it is. Mind you, I don't know what I did with my mat. I put it away before lockdown and I haven't I haven't found it yet. I'll have to dig it out, won't I? You soft succulent as the middle of the daisies. As they're green to begin with and only go yellow after a while. Oh, interesting. So you think I should try soft succulent? Well, let me have a look. Let's try soft succulent. I've got a piece of card here. And try soft succulent. Oh, doesn't that look different? Oh. Right, you're going to have to decide, girls, whether it's 
soft succulent or pale papaya? Which do you think? I, what I will do is, whilst you're making your mind up, as the song goes, I will glue this. I will glue my piece of soft, soft succulent to my card. Right. Don't want to lose that. Let's get me stamp. Me stamp your artist out of the way. So, Linda says the lighter colour, Hazel says soft succulent, Debbie says pale papaya, so I think Linda means pale papaya. So let's just stick this on here and then put that on there. Oh, oh. Now, now, do you think that with the outside greenery bit, with the soft succulent, it looks a bit drab? What do you reckon? Oh, decisions, girls. Oh, you know me. Never ask me to make a decision. Because it will always take me ages and ages to decide. Look, I'm going to go with pale papaya, right? Yeah, I'm going with pale papaya. I've I've decided. So thank you all, girls, for your decision making. <laughs> but it's my card. I'm going to put that in there. Right there. Good, Val said pale papaya. See? Great minds think alike. Stiff, stick the soft succulent one in the middle. Oh, what do you mean in the middle there? Oh, well, that's an idea, of that, uh, Linda. Do you work, Debbie, or uh, if you're ever around on a Wednesday morning, my time that is, um, I do mystery stamping on a Wednesday morning, not every week, uh, usually once a fortnight, um, and um, you'd be very welcome to come along and try it out. Stick the soft succulent one in the middle. And now look, I'm going to try and put my glue on with the with the flowers already in place. Eh. Okay. Right, well that's going to go on there. Right there. Oh, I think I know what Linda means. Do you mean put the green, the... Um, soft succulent ones on the edge where's my soft succulent one gone oh I'm going to have to do another one ok if you go on to my YouTube channel no not that one you will see some um, some recordings of, of um, mystery stamping we've never done mystery stamping it's really nice. You have no idea what you're going to be making. I just tell you what to bring along. And then... Is that what you mean, Linda? Put 
put them in the middle. I'm making a good mess here, girls. To kind of finish off the wreath. What do you think? Is that what you mean, Minda? Pop them in the middles or in the middle middle. What do you mean in the middle there? So in the middle of all the daisies or round the edge. To kind of finish it off. What does yes mean, Linda? Round the edge. Like that. Okay. So, I think Linda means they're in the right place now, I'm hoping, to complete the wreath. Yeah, yeah, I, I've got it, Linda. We're on the same late wavelength. This is going to go on here. And then we're going to need something in the centre of these flowers, aren't we? I'm thinking pearls. In between the daisies, put your sentiment on... Oh, too late. Ha uh, too late, Val. Duh. You're right, I should have put the sentiment on first because it's going to be much too big for that space now. So, I'm going to have to go back to me. Oh, what about that one? What about that? That would sort of fit underneath there. Either that one or... I need. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what I've got here. Mm. No, no. Where's my box of them? Um... Where's my other box gone? So we could put. I think that's that's too big. Don't like that one. Oh, that's not bad. Or we could have that with a coloured shape behind it. So I could have. I could punch out Highland Heather. Oh. oh, what about this then? Yeah, plain pearls. That's what I'm. Th that's what I'm thinking, Hazel. Plain pearls for to go in the centre of the flowers, and then that as my sentiment just there. Cool. That's what I'm going to do. So. And I'm going to use doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to have hello because I like hello. We'll have that in. There we go. Hello. Oh, Hazel says, oh, in, I think you meant the flowers in between the daisies, didn't you? So let's pop a bit of glue. Oh, let's pop a bit of glue behind this. And I don't need to worry about the, um, the
the glue showing through the vellum because I'm putting something on the top of it and that's going to go on there between there like so and I'm just going to pop that on with some glue I'm going to cap that flat oh going in there, tuck that underneath those yeah lovely so we can see the rest of the flowers but sort of behind the vellum cool right now plain pearls you're absolutely right Val plain pearls is all we want don't want anything else so bring in the take your pick tool go cool oh well what do you reckon dead cool don't you think Pretty, pretty. Right, so am I going to do one more card? Have you had enough, girls? Or do you want me to do another card? I leave it to you to decide. I'll just have a tidy up a bit and get rid of the bits that are from sort of floated about and you decide if you want me to do another one and it will be completely off the cuff because I've not planned for it at all okay. thank you do another one right I only need to be asked once to do another one you know me okay so let me bring in a card base, card base, and a piece of white, and I'm going to right. What on the stamp set haven't we used? We haven't used the dots. Okay. Right, I am going to do, I'm going to do a strip that goes across the middle of my card. Now what I need is I need a piece of card, oh I don't need bits of card, okay. I'm going to do a strip that goes across the middle, like so. So let me bring in my little trimmer. Those off the cuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, you might say that, Hazel, <laughs> but you never know what they're going to end up like. I do have some disasters, you know. Right, so I'm cutting this to three inches by five and a half. Right. So that's going to go across there. And. Oh, I know what we could use. How about we use the new, oh yes, oh I did have it out, I'm going to use this, because I love this, I think this is dead cool. Now which way up does it go? Oh, I've not, if I do it that way, do you think that looks like seats in the cinema? <laughs> I think it does or well, that way and it looks like fish scales what happens if I do it that way do I like it that way no I don't like it that way we'll have it seats in the cinema wise right 
so either okay so hazel doesn't mind i do like it that you're easily pleased hazel so let's put this on here uh -huh -huh. line this up and i'm just going to get a bit of um, washi tape tray a bit of washi tape not stamping up washi tape i'm afraid oh this is dead sticky this one so. okay right so have i got that straight looks like it down whoops oh that moved a bit and you 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 won't be surprised that I'm gonna get my blending brushes out Yee! okay so oh, come on. we're gonna have purple Yep, we're going to have fresh freesia. Fresh freesia? Yeah, fresh freesia. Okay. I've lost a few of you, but I hope I hope that's okay. You you haven't dropped off because you didn't want to. you uh, you had something else important to do and you're okay. Right. So I'm literally I'm just going to oh oh did you hear that oh something fell don't know where it fell but made a funny noise whatever it was Yes, that's what I did, Hazel. I um, I got one pack to start with, just to make sure that I was going to use them. Um, but then once I decided I'd fallen in love with them, I um, I got myself a second pack, and I have one for browns, one for purples, one for oranges. And, and and just sort of you know so that because you don't have to wash them between time and the ink does come out of them very well there you go what do you think what do you think girls let's have a look see what that looks like oh i hadn't thought of that oh i'm good you've got me worried now linda i'm just gonna nip downstairs and just check No, he's all right. He's just sitting and having his breakfast. <laughs> I know it's late, but he's just had his breakfast. He's all right. So, that, oh, that did get my heart going a bit there. Right, so there we go. So let's pull that off. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, this this mask is going to be a favorite i'm sure isn't that lovely cool right now what am i gonna do not 
planned this at all so I'm going to bring in the daisy and I'm going to stamp with soft succulent daisies phew yes quite Linda so, here we go now if I stamp off oh right okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp all the way round I stamp and then stamp off over that lovely yes it was better to check Linda I'm just waiting for my heart to give it to his it's not it's novel speed <laughs> oh dear well, that was probably the going up and down the stairs in a hurry <laughs> right so let's have so let's have some flowers and I'm gonna try I'm gonna try fresh fuchsia flowers with a bit of highland heather if I can find my highland heather what do you reckon highland heather the two together let's try and see right so I want me fill in piece Where's my filling piece? Is it still on my stamparatus? It was. I didn't take it off. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Pull it off. And I need a block for it, I think. I do. I need a block. Because if I've got lots of blocks. Okay. So I'm just going to... Of this as the fancy takes me. the wheels ticking round in my brain trying to decide what to do next there we go so I'm making my own designer series paper aren't I some more ink on me pale on me uh, fresh freeze it looks like it's getting a bit pale but I think that's fine uh -huh -huh. now that's gonna go across there like so what do you think now what I'm gonna do is I am going to Use the dots. Where's where's me uh, where's me stamp set? So let's put some dots on.
don't do this very often stamp on the um, on the background card this feels very strange okay looks okay now what sentiment have I got I've got a sentiment here that I haven't used a big happy birthday do I want that to go across there I think I do I think that would look lovely and I got a feeling in here somewhere I must have a, st a strip or something that I could use to put it on. I've got two. Oh, put it on there. No, not long enough. Oh no, that's too big. Not long enough. Oh. oh, let's see. Let's have a look, see if this will fit on here. Just. <whistles> right. So, now I need to have me wits about me now, because I'm going to try and stamp this on here. A narrow border of Highland Heather top and bottom yes I was thinking exactly the same thing Val it definitely needs something I'm gonna I'm gonna actually use I'm not worried about the fact that's got a bit of Highland Heather on it happy boy's day I'm now gonna bring in my fresh freezer I think and I'm gonna put some more dots on this piece here I don't know fresh freezer there is. So This, oh blimey, I've got my grid paper with the um, centimetres uppermost. Centimetres mean nothing to me. Three inches by five and a half on DSP. So you think I need DSP rather than card, do you, Val? I'm going to, I haven't got any Highland Heather. Um, DSP, I don't think. But I'm just going to, I'm just looking for me trimmer. Let's put this 
so the image is three inches so I'm going to do three and a quarter three and a quarter by what was this this five and a half five and a half by five and three quarters let me see what that looks like Mm -hmm. So that goes behind that, like that. What do you think? It goes behind there like that, like that. What do you think? Cool? Not cool? I could do with... Uh -huh. And that's going to go on there. See, that needs a little layer behind it as well. I certainly do. Right. Oh, where's my ruler gone? On your own card, DSP. So that could be three by one inch. I'm not sure what you mean, Val. Yes, it looks better, doesn't it? Three by one. Hey, all oh right. Okay. So you're happy with what I'm doing? Three by one inch. Definitely needed something behind it. Good. You like it, Linda? Excellent. Here we go. Now where's my label gone? Where's my label gone? Oh, there is. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. Nice. Alright, let's put those together. The DSP is good, isn't it? I'm quite pleased with that. There you go. Cool. That's going to go on there. Where's me join? There's me join. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. And I definitely, definitely want some, um, some ribbon. Where's me, me, me ribbon? We'll have some fresh freezer, I think. Mm -hmm. Do me ribbon. Oh. You see my desk? I a pickle. And it was nice and tidy when we started. Right, so let's wrap a bit of ribbon around here. Yeah, bit of ribbon around there. Plonk is just fallen on the floor. And of course it would roll the f as far away from me as it can get. Oh, come on. Is this going to... Um... There we go. Oh no, it's rolled under the table. This is going to go on here, about there, across there, so, a 
tassels. Snip. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. Oops. So I'm going to use glue to glue this down with. Dave's table was. Oh, I bet it was. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it shows you've been working away at it, Hazel. You see, if, you, if your table's tidy, it means you haven't done any crafting. That's what I say. Of course, we can all easily tidy it away when we're done. Right. There we go. Now, I know what I could put on here. Happy birthday. And I, I um, stamped some of these here flowers. I don't know, I did, oh, I did them in them. Um, what do you think? Do you think they're too dark? Let me put some colour on them with the blend. Let's put some um, light highland heather. Let's put some light highland heather colour on and see if that really strange the blunt end is very very um, pale and the brush end is darker and let's blend that in oh it's not too bad blender this blender pen upside uh so it's upside down a bit so that the colour is up the, the the stubby end for a bit stamp these with evening evergreen and I'm not sure whether it's too dark oh it's okay if you stand back a bit it's okay makes it look like the, um, the, dis the flowers in the designer series paper are a bit further away but I tell you what I could do right I'm gonna put these on with some dimensionals do, do, do. Dimensionals, come and find me. Is um, Alan up at the cricket? Linda?
Thank you, Val. Glad you like them. I think it adds a bit of different dimension having a different colour there, actually. So I'm going to pop that there. Sort of in the middle. And I've got glue on my finger. And then I'm going to pop that on a dimensional or two. Have that like that. And the other one. Windy corner. Oh, we came back today, did he? Good. So I bet he's watching it on the telly now, isn't he? There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the big pearls because there's some quite these pearls are quite big. So I'm going to oh now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put some wink of Stella on. Because I can. I've got loads of it. Did he have to be tested when he went in, Linda? So I am going to put, should I put three in? Let's have a look. One, two. And I'm just going to touch it, do a bit of touching up with the colour because when I put my wink of Stella on, it decided to pick up the green. So let's uh, let's add a bit more colour to the edges here. Now the last decision you'll have to make now, girls, is bow or no bow? What do you think? Do you think it needs a bow? Well, uh, if I make a bow, then you can decide whether it needs a bow or not. No bow, Lind. So Val says no bow. You think it's busy enough as it is, do you? And I think you're right. I think you're right. I think no bow. I don't know where a, a bow would fit. Oh, it might fit there. But then does it detract from the flowers? Linda says no bow. So two of you say no bow. Right, I'm overruled. No bow. So there we go, girls. What's the time? Good grief, it's four o'clock. 
What fun we've had for the last couple of hours. I think that has been a, lo a lovely two hours. Really, really nice. Now let me just put my bits away a bit, or get them out of the way a bit. And then I can show you all the cards that we've made. I don't know whether Catherine's still with us and whether Debbie's still with us. Oh, Debbie said she was going, did she? Well, not surprised. I mean, she's been on, been on since nine o'clock. <laughs> so, night night, Debbie. Sleep well. Don't dream of purple flowers, is all I can say. Right, OK. So, I'm now going to show you all the cards I've made, all right? So, here we go. Okay, so I don't know which order I did them in. So that was the first one I did. Then we did that one. I'm thinking I'm going to need a lot of room here. And then we did that one. That is gorgeous. I love that. I'm definitely going to do some more of those. Then we have that one, which is quite busy. And then we have that one. So what do you reckon, girls? A good endeavour for the cards today. So brilliant. Thank you very, very much, girls, for sticking with me. And I think the system has been kind of OK. It's been kind to us today, hasn't it? Um, I will do a blog post and I'll post pictures of the card on the blog post. And I will put this video onto YouTube. So if you'd like to share it with anybody, I'd be most grateful. Get a few more people to come along would be lovely. OK, so brilliant. And I'll see some of you at Stamp and Sip. Um, I shall be at Chittlehampton on Tuesday. Yay! And then I shall be at the Pena Pantry on Saturday. And I know Val's coming. So I look forward to seeing you all and have a safe weekend. Take care and... Don't do anything I wouldn't do. So I'm going to say cheerio.